In this video, I want to discuss and demonstrate palpation around the knee. So we're going to talk about bony palpation, but also soft tissue structures. And I'm going to kind of start proximal and work my way distal. So proximal, as we move into the knee itself, um, we can locate the quadriceps muscles, uh, muscle group, and differentiate the four different muscles and palpate those. So on the medial side, we can palpate through the vastus medialis and BMO, the oblique fibers. We can also palpate through the rectus femoris. Rectus just means straight, so that's the straight shot quadricep muscle that comes down here. Um, vastus intermedius is gonna be in that same area, but a little bit deeper. And then the vastus lateralis is gonna be on the lateral side of the knee. If we scoot a little bit more posterior from that vastus lateralis, we can rub across and palpate. I like to palpate in a perpendicular direction to the fibers of the iliotibial band or IT band. So we can palpate that as it runs across the lateral side of the knee. So it's gonna cross the knee. It's gonna attach down to a bony landmark on the tibia, which we call Gertie's tubercle. So that's gonna be on the tibia. But we also know that the lateral leg bone is the fibula. So you can come a little bit posterior to that and you can palpate the fibular head. And I kind of like this pinch grip because it helps me get both the anterior and the posterior side of that fibular head under my fingers to really locate that. Posteriorly, if you can kind of see where my finger is, I can palpate the posterior fibular head and the muscle attachment here, which is going to be the distal biceps femoris or hamstring, one of the hamstring muscles on that fibular head. So I can rub across again that ropey tendon and follow it to its attachment site. If I come back to the front of the knee, we can palpate the common quadriceps tendon. Those four muscles are going to attach through this quadriceps tendon to the superior pole, or we also call this the base of the patella. So I know it's kind of confusing, it's at the top, but we do call it the base. Patella is a little bit triangle shaped, so we have the base at the top and the apex at the bottom. I can also palpate around the edge of the patella as I come from base to apex. And the apex, we also call the inferior pole. So that's gonna be the attachment of the um, inferior tendon, which is gonna be the patella tendon. So quadriceps runs through with the quadriceps tendon attaching to the patella and the patella tendon from that inferior pole. And we can follow that down to this bump on the anterior tibia, which is the tibial tuberosity. I think it's kind of cool that the quadriceps attaches all the way through this bone in the middle and the patella is actually a sesamoid bone so it's kind of in within that tendon or that extensor mechanism so it's a big bone but it is a sesamoid it's kind of a fun thing okay human bodies interesting um other things that we can palpate are if we locate the patellar tendon to the medial side and the lateral side of that patellar tendon i can pinch in and i can actually move from side to side the structure deep to that tendon, which is gonna be the uh, fat pad underneath there, often called Hoffa's fat pad. That's the eponym for that structure. Um, some other key things that we wanna palpate. So the distal femur is gonna end in the femoral condyle. So they're deep to muscle bulk, but what I can do is as I sneak my fingers around from the anterior to posterior direction, I'm gonna come up and under the hamstrings and I'm gonna have to put a decent amount of pressure, but I can palpate from P to A, and I'm a little bit lateral, and I can come in and I can palpate the femoral condyles. So those are actually structures you're gonna to wanna to palpate on some individuals. So the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if you find where that femur comes down in those condyles, you can actually feel joint line. And some people will tell you that you're gonna palpate meniscus within that joint line. I'm not so sure I can feel that, but that is something that might be provocative for a meniscus injury right at that, palpating right at that joint line. So that's something worth feeling both on the medial side and on the lateral side. Um, another structure that you're gonna wanna palpate on the tibia, so here's the anterior shaft of the tibia, medially is the pes anserine. So that's gonna be a common attachment for this muscle group that I remember as sergeant, SGT. Um, so the sartorius, gracilis and semitendinosus are all going to attach on that pezanserine um, attachment or goose's foot. So that oftentimes will be, again, another source of discomfort or irritation for certain patients. If those tendons or the insertion is painful, that's going to be a structure that you want to palpate with medial knee pain. Um, you can also palpate the hamstrings. So coming 
on the medial side, we palpated the biceps femoris on the lateral side, but coming on the medial side, posteriorly and distally, where you can palpate both the semimembranosus and the semitendinosus. So semitendinosus is gonna come around and insert to peasant's ring. Semimembranosus is just gonna come down and insert posteriorly on the tibia. Um, we can palpate the medial and lateral heads of the gastrocnemius as they come up and insert, and they're gonna cross the knee and they're gonna kind of form this functional sling. So the gastrocnemius is gonna cross the knee, hamstring is gonna cross the knee, and they provide integrity at that posterior knee.